the game of try to kill Faker. Which will pass forward, tries to get onto him. They drop the Frozen Tomb. Beautiful. And he gets tossed back. They find the first blood, goes over to Ixu. Nicely done. And now Peanut in a rough spot. A Snowflower has wandered his way up to the top. Burns the Flash. Root does come out onto Snowflower. That's going to keep Peanut alive. And the Sonic Wave barely not going to connect. Less of these variables would have to come together for SKT to get ahead. But actually going for the reliable tank in the late game has cost them in the early game pretty dearly. So who would you, well, I might have to hold that thought actually. Wolf gonna get locked down, flashes away from the Deadly Flourish, uh -oh. but that's gonna be the Ring of Frost connecting from Kuzan, <laughs> and they find both kills. Big Bomb comes out from Bang, trying to find a kill. MT jumping over the wall, getting away from the W, but Bang's able to finish him off with a Q and an auto attack. Thinking use that short fuse passive. Looks like Kuzan might be able to wander his way out. Needs the blast going here. over the wall. And yeah, he will be suiciding inside the base of SK Telecom. So nice execute from him. He not jumps forward, gets onto Snowflower, lands the stun there, or the root rather, and Snowflower, he's gonna have to flash out. You can see Kuzan throwing that glacial path back off the wall, but Picker, he's gonna go in, pops the death blossom comes up with a kill, Death Lotus rather, and they will take him down. Two kills picked up as Peanut is able to finish off Kuzan. Umti throws out the Sonic Wave, would be able to finish off Peanut perhaps, but it's a little bit too risky. Now it's gonna be that curtain call coming through. Wolf having to body block these last couple shots is able to do so. No bullet bending coming up for Teddy. Gets popped into the mind field. There we go, flashes away. Will keep himself alive for now. Deadly Flourish to just slow up, bang. Made even by SKT. After that quite nice play, Snowflower, he's gonna get rooted up. They wanna go in, Peanut jumping in, great health. Does come through, keeping Snowflower alive for the time being, but Peanut, Peanut is able to finish him off, bang, running for his life. Jukes out on the Deadly Flourish, the roof live? comes through on the Ote, bang, he doesn't go down, and they pick up the kill, a double kill for Peanut. Throws out the ultimate to clear out the wave. Can they get a push on the tower? We'll have to wait and see, but my god, bang. Played that to a T. And just I noticed it as well, it seemed extra risky just because they were losing the early game and they're not buying early power. Uh oh, Peanut. This is risky for Peanut. Oh boy. Now he's gonna get locked down. Frozen Tombs comes out. Not gonna be able to live. He even and had the. Uh, we'll finish him off. Baker, he goes for it. Throws out the Death Lotus. It's a lot of damage on the Oomphy. Falls him over the wall with the Blast Cone. The Ignite is ticking. Throws out the Bouncing Blade. Finishes him off. Nicely played by Baker. And now the roam down from Hooney. Wolf. Joining the squad, they take down Kuzan, and things are just starting to unravel ever so steadily for Janair. And you can instantly see how the experience for Faker is put into benefit. Bang in the bot lane, though. Oh, yeah, he's going to knock him back with the satchel charge, throws out the ultimate, flashes to the other side, and here comes Hooney, knocks two up with the Keeper's Verdict. Devour coming through from Snowflower onto Ixu, but Wolf is on the roam down. Going to try to lock them up with roots, flashes forward, finds Ixu, the exhaust comes out, throws out Watch a massive Faker. ultimate, will pop him up, stun into the wall on Teddy by Hooney. Faker coming around the backside. Can he get the tumble? No, he won't. The kill goes over to Bang, but that's three more picked up for SKT. Faker juice back. Teddy not going to get rooted up. Not taking that much damage. Kirk Ball's opened up, and here comes the rest of Jin Air. Root does land on the MT. Teleport coming through Hooney right into the thick of things. Ixu getting locked up, and Bang finds the first kill. Bang. He will go down. Throws out the bomb. Only gets a little bit of damage on the Snowflower. Oopsie comes up with a double kill. Exits down through the jungle of SK Telecom, and I think they just have to peel back. Several members of Jin Air are low, but without Bang, without Wolf, it's going to be risky. Hooney, he's willing to take that risk. Keeper's Verdict not going to connect, but Faker goes forward, finds a kill, takes out the Jin. Can he find a kill on the Oopty? Jumps back over the wall with the Shun Bow, keeps himself alive for now. Snowflower. Now, in a really rough spot, pops the shield, but it's just not going to be enough. The Bouncing Blade from Faker will pick up yet another one, a near ace for SK Telecom over Jin Air. We can't call, I can call him Riot Games. Okay, all right. I was being unfair. Faker going in as the Death Lotus gets down to about half HP, dodges out on the Sonic Wave and the Deadly Flourish. He's going to get caught by those curve uh -oh. call shots, but Teddy, he's slow. Here comes Peanut in underneath the turret. Doesn't matter if he's exhausted, still comes up with a kill. The turret is going to go down. Bang finishes that one off quite swiftly on the side of SKT. Yep. Oh, MT throws out the Dragon's Rage to try to knock Hooney away. He's able to dash over on the Snowflower to keep himself alive, but he will no longer be able to contest around that dragon. So that'll just be handed off to SK Telecom. Able to put a second one on the board. Oh, bang! Umti recalling on top of a ward. Maybe shopping wasn't really paying attention there. That was singing on the rift and looks pretty good here too. Yep. Well, that bomb not going to connect from bang. Sue has come in with the teleport. 
putting his way through. Doesn't really have a target to go for. Might just have to run back down the lane, get stunned to the wall. Hootie up in the front line, gonna be tanking up. Peanut, he goes in, tries to get the assassination of the Kuzan, won't be able to find it. But Faker is able to finish off the singe. Nicely done. Peanut makes it out with his life as well. Curtain call. Comes out from Teddy. Can he find anyone though? Bang is perfectly comfortable to sit in the front line and take up the shot. looking for a flash out. Oh, that's going to be the root coming in into the stun. Snowflower is there for the Devourer to keep the Jin alive. Her call opened up. Kuzan goes in, locks down. Bang, will he go down? Big shield coming out from that lock in. Gets popped. One more hit. We'll do it. Teddy is able to finish him off with that fourth and final one shot. Baker going into the Death Lotus. Doesn't get a whole lot done. Whittles down a couple members, but still not enough. Play coming through from them. Peanut jumping onto Kuzan, almost takes him out. He holds onto the Frozen Tomb. Using some restraint there. Huni going into the pit. Holds a drink down to about half HP. Bang, now coming up. Can he get in range to at least throw out a bomb? Maybe get some damage onto the members of Jin Air. You can see Kuzan going with the recall. Has the TP available. Who is going to end up with this Elder Drake? Looks like it might be SKT. If they don't want to just push in and try to come up with a kill, Teddy gets popped up, oh. gets taken out. Double kill coming through for Peanut. The bomb from Bang is going to go wide as everybody's already dead. The Elder Dragon taken out. And SK Telecom. They are set to win this game. Nexus turrets almost gone. The last one barely standing. Yeah, Jinnah didn't have anywhere good to fight. They tried to fight at Elder Drake. Now their base being completely crushed. Last time it's going to fall soon and maybe some members as well. Yep, Faker just going to pad the KDA. Takes out Snowflower. The Nexus is exposed. They will work their way through them, and there we have it. It's Swift 2-0. Oh, not so Swift 2-0 coming through for SKT, rather. 40 minutes and 45.